Tuesday, March 12, 2019, at approximately 11.29 a.m., Kalamazoo Public Safety Officers were dispatched to 167 East Kalamazoo on a report of a shooting inside the Biomat Center. A preliminary investigation indicates the first two arriving officers immediately entered the building with information there was an active shooter inside and encountered the suspect standing just inside the business. The suspect was armed with a handgun and opened fire on the officers. The officers returned fire. In the gunfire exchange, a Kalamazoo public safety officer was hit in the torso. The other officer continued to engage the suspect, striking him multiple times until other officers arrived. Upon officer arrival, the suspect was secured and life-saving measures began. The scene was secured and searched and no other assailants were found in the building. The suspect did not survive. The officer who was struck by the suspect's bullets is a two and a half year veteran of PPS. He was saved today by a bulletproof vest and the quick reaction of his fellow officer. His injury was not only threatening and he has been released from Bronson Hospital. The other officer is a nine month employee for KDPS and did not sustain any injuries. The initial information and investigation indicates that the suspect was a Biomat Center employee. It appears that he entered the business with the intent to draw officers in and then ambush them upon entry. <clears throat> Even in Kalamazoo, we are not immune to workplace violence or violence directed towards our first responders. We are so very fortunate in this community to have such caring and highly skilled public safety officers. These are men and women who will run into gunfire. We are so blessed that all our officers, all the employees of Biomat and their customers are going home safe tonight to their families. I'd like to thank all those who came to our aid today, specifically Western Michigan University Police Department, Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department, Kalamazoo Township Police Department, and Ported Public Safety, both for their assistance at the scene and helping us out on other calls for service within the city. We also are appreciative of the outpouring of support we have received from around the city and around the state. This investigation is going to be handled by the Michigan State Police, the KDPS Criminal Investigation Division, and the Office of Professional Standards. Upon its completion, it will be forwarded for review to the Kalamazoo County Prosecutor, as is done in these type of incidents. Again, I just want to say how fortunate we are tonight. Everyone is going home safely after this incident. I will not have any questions that you may have. What else can you tell us about the suspect? I know you said that he was a former employee um, and you believe that he went there with the intention of getting police there. Do you think this was a target on police or suicide by cop? At this time, uh, he was a current biomet employee. Um, our early indication indicates that he wanted to draw officers to the scene um, to ambush them. Do you have any age uh, in city of residence for that? I do not have a city of residence. He was approximately 30 years old. That's all the information we'll provide you tonight on the suspect. How did he draw the officers? Initially, he shot inside the building and told others that were there to call the police and waited for us to arrive. Did he threaten any other employees or anyone inside? You know, I don't have that information at the time. This is uh, an unfolding investigation, and we are still interviewing Michigan State Police and interviewing witnesses that were inside the business. Has KDPS had any uh, prior contact with the suspect? Not that I'm aware of at this time. And was there anything else like left, like a note or anything indicating that he was trying to attack officers? We have no information of that sort of this time. 